All right, I bought this 2014 Mahindra Emax 22 tractor about a month ago. Uh, the previous owner was a little rough with the machine, um, little scratches and busted parts on it. Um, so today what I'm gonna do is work on the front grill. So the grill on this thing uh, from the factory, if I want to replace the whole grill, it's about $150, $60 for the plastic piece. So what I'm gonna do is try to fix the grill with some inserts um, and make it look a little bit better. I'm not care about it being necessarily back to factory, but I want to do something to at least get rid of the holes that are in the front of it, which I'll show you here in just a second. All right, so here's the front grill. As you can see, there's a nice hole in the center grill section and another, another nice hole down in the lower uh, grill section. It's got a diamond pattern um, it's plastic, the whole thing's plastic, um, but I'm gonna try to fix that and replace it with an aftermarket product and kind of bring it back so uh, we don't have the holes in there anymore. Get the hood up, and now we can kind of see, kind of see the damage a little bit more. So you see a nice, that hole there, and this hole right there. All right, so it looks like I can take off the grill, just a few bolts underneath, hook the wiring, unhook the wiring harnesses. Uh, once I get the grill off, um, we'll be able to work on those center sections. All right, so we've got it off now. Um, as you can see, uh, we'll just look at the center piece, this bottom piece, which is, uh, see it's pretty busted up, all cracked here. It's actually a crack in the top, it's split right there as well. I'm um, not going to worry about that. I might try to glue just that section back. It's more cosmetic. Um, obviously it mounts fine. That's not an issue. And then the center section. So my idea is to cut these center sections out right here. Get rid of the old plastic. Um, these two sections. And then mount new grill um, in from behind. And I'll show you here what we're going to use on that. Or what my idea is at least. Um, so looking at the back here. If you look at the back, um, it's kind of kind of like a raised ridge <clears throat> around it, um, both there and the top. Um, so I'm thinking if I can get something, cut it out, and it'll kind of lay over that, and I can glue it down to the back side with epoxy, um, I can get it to look good from the front side. So that's the idea behind that. All right, so this is the product I found on uh, Amazon. It's actually made of aluminum. It's got uh, kind of the same design it's got the, the uh, diamond shape um, grill but it's aluminum so it's a little more sturdy less prone for breaking or cracking um, but the key here is really going to be getting this to um, adhere to the plastic so I think I'm using an epoxy that's good for mounting you know all sorts of different materials wood plastic metal those types of things um, I've got a lot to work with here this was less than uh, $20 and I think this was around $18 for this uh, piece of aluminum grill insert uh, a lot less than buying that new grill assembly, which was, like I said, right around $150, $60, uh, probably by the time it's all said and done. Um, so that's the plan. That's what we're going to use on this project today. So I think what we'll try to do first is maybe just take some uh, cutters here. Uh, it's already busted quite a ways around, actually, um, and just try to cut off pieces of the plastic that aren't... Uh, already cut. Seems to be... Alright, I'm going to try something different here. Alright, now we're going to try a nice brand new sharp razor blade. Let's see if that cuts through the plastic. Seems to work pretty good. Got to get it out. That's the main thing. Don't really care about breaking this up because I'm going to clean up that edge and smooth it out somehow. I'm not really sure how I'm going to do that yet, but I figure sand it down, grind it down, smooth it out in the end. Razor blade definitely works a lot better. So. All right, 
Here we go. Got the main part cleaned out. Now it's just a matter of cleaning up those edges. So I might be able to kind of do that with this. The big pieces. And then kind of sand it down. It's kind of my idea there. There's that, mostly, mostly cleaned out. Pretty good there, as you can see. So I just mean getting this edge right here kind of all um, smoothed up. So I'm thinking we're gonna grind that down, maybe use a grinding tool of some sort and just kind of sand that back. So that's kind of my idea on that. All right, so now we're gonna try this uh, pneumatic tool with a little grinding bit on the top or attached and we'll see if we can kind of maybe work this edge down ever so slightly. All right, as you can see, cleaned it up pretty good. Got uh, you know, smooth it around a decent amount. A um, few little spots I might be able to touch up just with a different tool. I'll get back in this corner here. Um, little edges, a couple spots, flat edges, I'll just leave those. Um, but clean it up pretty good. Maybe I'll take some hand sandpaper, just kind of work across and around, just kind of maybe even that up just a little bit. Get this uh, JB Weld Clear Weld Professional Grade Epoxy, two part. So we got the resin and the hardener. Um, I bought this a while ago, not for this project, but I never ended up using it. So well, we'll see how this works. Spread this apart. So I got this glued up best I could. Um, it's kind of not perfect, but at least it's solid now. It's not falling apart. Kind of clean this up um, around the edges. So now next thing I have to do on the back side, now they got some uh, solid, it's not all wobbling apart anymore. Um, let's get a piece of this grill insert and we're gonna cut it just kind of rough shape a little bit bigger than uh, this area. So we just kind of measure rough estimate. If we get a square that's uh, like seven, seven inches by, seven inches by five. Seven inches by five should be good. So seven inches to there. I'll make a five inch, five inches. So now we got that, we're just gonna take these tin snips. Um, we're just gonna cut and kind of just follow once I get the general idea where I'm starting, I'm just gonna follow the design and use that as my straight edge. There 
we go. So that's our piece. Okay, so as you can see, kind of rough fitting it. We need to make it um, so that's good. Really just need to kind of get it a little bit smaller. So what I can do is I'll just put some tape. I'll just put some tape like right get it centered. That looks centered. Just put tape there. Tape there. Put tape there. Really just kind of making the guide kind of looking. And I just kind of connect the dots, so to speak. So I know that if I just cut out this and this right there, then it should fit down into that area. So push this to the side. What I'm going to do is just going to kind of trim right where the tape is. Right there. So now, take the tape off. That piece should should now fit, as you can see, kind of right into that spot. Pretty good, right? do is just kind of tuck since this is very pliable very pliable aluminum which is kind of nice kind of fits right in there so what I was thinking of doing what I need to do is just put a weight some type of weight right here and then I can take this and just epoxy this down on the edge, right to the edge. Just a bunch, a bunch of epoxy. I can probably trim this back a touch. It's kind of big, but um, probably like this edge right here. That can go down. Let's see. That can go down, trim that down a little bit. But to get an idea, that's what it'll look like for the other side. So let's see, once it's all attached, it should kind of look pretty good. At least better than having a hole inside of it. So here we go. Let's just move that into place. So my thought was, if we can do this, kind of get this right here, kind of seal it on the bottom, if you can see that, have a nice little uh, hearing area right here in the corner. So I've already cleaned the plastic in the back. I just kind of want to glob it on, let it soak through the grill, the top, and then kind of work its way through the, the mesh back down to the plastic, and then kind of create a bond between the aluminum. It's kind of like a spot weld with JB weld, two-part epoxy. Kind of the same thing, concept. It's where you've got points of contact you know it's gonna just collect in five minutes. You should have a pretty good bond. Got the corners, I got the center right here. Corners in, that corner's in. Still need to get like the centers and the sides, but I might have to mix up some more here. 
All right, so what I decided to do is take my uh, toolbox here, my accessory or auxiliary toolbox that I put in the boat, and I'm just going to set this on the on the tape measure. Kind of put some extra force on it, and then we'll let that sit there until it sets up. Should give a nice firm uh, base. All right, so let it sit there for a while. So we'll take off the weight, take off the tape measure. And we'll uh, check it out, see how it looks. Check it out. So there's the so there's the grill. So it's actually in there pretty strong. You know, it's not necessarily flat against every corner or section, but overall, as you can see, looks pretty good. I mean, it's got uh, fills in the hole pretty good, and. Uh, you know, from a distance, looking at it, I don't think you'd be able to really tell that it's not necessarily part of the factory grill cover, or grill insert. So I ended up putting on a uh, toolbox here for weight, just kind of push everything down so it's sealed up to the, the rim of the opening while the epoxy set. Um, so it's been enough time, so I think we'll pull this off. Take the tape measure out of there, and everything seems to have set up pretty good. I've got uh, epoxy I put all the way around, kind of a tack weld situation here. Um, Seem to hook up pretty good. So as you can see, that's kind of tack welded, epoxied from the back, and then also the top as well. So now we'll flip it around. Take a look at the front side. Now as you see here, we have a nice, new looking grill. Actually, I kind of like the aluminum better than the plastic from the factory. Uh, the aluminum actually looks a lot better. Obviously, it's gonna hold up better than the plastic, um, but I guess we'll see over time. You know, I'm not necessarily gonna cut out all this plastic and put aluminum here, because it's not broken, but if it did break, I feel pretty confident that I could put aluminum um, grill insert in here and it would look just as good or better than the plastic from the factory. All right, so I've got it mounted on the tractor now. The grill's back on the hood. As you can see, the old grill there, plastic. There's the aluminum insert mounted from the back side around so you kind of get an idea uh, what that looks like so now we'll put the hood down and you can see it with the hood down so here's the Emax 22 custom grill insert project completed um, as you can see you know the grill looks pretty good obviously you can see where it was cracked I fixed that at least epoxy that together um, the old grill sections there's that new section, so on, and the old section. So now at least it kind of looks a lot better. It doesn't have busted pieces missing out of it like it did before. All right, so that completes this project on this Mahindra Emax 22 uh, tractor with the custom grill insert right there. Um, I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, it was, you know, literally less than $20 to fix this. Um, grill, like I said in the beginning, $160 thereabouts to buy a factory replacement for just that black plastic piece. Uh, but this will get it by, it'll make it look good, um, which I think I'm pretty comfortable with the way it looks. Actually, I really think it looks better. The aluminum insert looks better than the factory plastic that's in there. Even though if you look close, you can kind of see the edge. Um, but actually, I'm quite impressed with the actual overall look of it. Uh, compared to the plastic. So now this is the older Mahindra that has the plastic hood, the plastic sides, the plastic fenders. Um, if you get a, the newer Mahindra, I think in the last couple of years, um, the hood and everything's all metal. This was plastic, so surprisingly they're going back to metal uh, as opposed to plastic like a lot of things do. It's kind of going the other direction, but um, overall, not a very hard project. Took two days just because of time. I could have done this in one day, but I had other things to do. So 
Um, we're talking total, yeah, maybe maybe four hours total project time to do the entire project and get it done. You know, cutting it out, um, cutting the pieces, putting it in, getting the epoxy, getting set time for that. If you get a good set in epoxy that sets in, you know, five to ten minutes, you can actually work a lot quicker with it. Um, I let it set overnight for the first piece. The second piece was done today. So really two days um, to do this whole project. And turned out quite well. So let me know what you think. This is something that uh, you might have a problem with. This is an easy fix. Saves you a lot of money and it's kind of fun. Uh, if you like to work with tools and uh, come up with solutions to problems, this is a project for you. So thanks for watching and uh, let me know what you think.